Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to upload a notebook or journal to Amazon on the KDP platform. Now this is perfect if you're both a beginner and also if you do have some experience because you might pick up some tips and tricks on how I upload my books to the KDP platform. Now my name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you like videos like that make sure you hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications when I do more videos like this. And if you do like it, then give old Captain Paul the thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a notebook or journal or could be a no content book or low content book to Amazon on the KDP platform. Now, if you've already created your book, that's great. Just follow along and I'll show you how to upload it. If not, then click on the link above, or I'll leave the link in the description, on how to produce a simple blank lined journal or notebook using Canva, which is a free tool, it's free to sign up, and it's very quick to create your first um, journal. So do that, create your journal, and then come back and watch this video. If you've already got your journal to upload, then follow me. Okay, so first what you'll need to do is go to kdp.amazon.com. Okay, now if you already have an account, just click on sign in. If not, then click on sign up. So I'll quickly just sign in. And this is the page you'll be presented with. So we're on the bookshelf and you'll go down to this box here and click on add paperback. Now the first box is the language, which for most people will be English, although Theoretically, for a blank line notebook, it doesn't matter what language it is, but just keep that on English. Okay, now we come to the book title. Now, what I do is, before I publish a book, I create a spreadsheet. And I have the columns title, subtitle, author name, description, and keywords. And also, lastly, the price. And I actually have a spreadsheet exactly like this for all my notebooks. So for all 2,400 notebooks or whatever it is, I have one big spreadsheet and it's all listed like this. And so it's very easy to, to search for my notebooks. Now, if you have watched the previous video, again, link below, I created a notebook with a floral plant, or I think it was a cheese plant type cover like this. Now I'm gonna call my notebook or the title notebook. Now you see I've hit, written here floral notebook, but I'm just gonna change that to just notebook because that's what I have written on the front of the notebook and also on the spine of the notebook. So if I was to have it as floral notebook, I'd have to go in, edit my notebook and put in something like floral no notebook down the spine because the title has to be on either the spine or the front cover. And I've created the, the subtitle, the author name and description. And we'll go through these as we're uploading the, the parts of the book. So I'll just copy the title and paste that into book title. I'll go back to my spreadsheet, copy the subtitle, paste that in place. Now for this, I've just made up an author name, so you can give you, you know, some time to think about what your, your own author name is going to be. For this, I'm going to choose Fun Floral Designs. Now, uh, this will be in th three boxes, so there's no point in me copy and paste in there. So Fun, Now, contrib contributors, you can leave that blank. And then we come to the description. And I'll just copy and paste that in, like so. Now, the description, this doesn't affect the Amazon ranking. And you can basically write anything you want in here, including a, maybe a small little um, sales letter or something to persuade people um, to buy your book. I just do a basic description on most of mine. So this, I put a cute floral notebook now you can use simple html tags in the description so here i've got uh, b uh, which makes floral notebook bold and then for mom daughter aunt to write down those creative thoughts ideas and lists have fun creating your own journal or buy for mom sister daughter or aunt the ideal gift for birthday christmas or mother's day and then what you can do below that is just put a list of some of the features of the book now here i put blank lined floral cover, 120 pages, 
six by nine inches, which is the size of the notebook um, that I'm going to upload. You can obviously put anything in this and this will create a nice bulleted list under your description. Then we come to this option here. I own the copyright and hold necessary publishing rights. And then we come to the keywords. Now I'm not going to go into depth about all doing all the keyword research. There is a, I'll leave a, a link above here or that you can click on if you do choose to go and watch that about keyword research. So I've written down some basic keywords and I'm going to go through and just highlight each one like so and paste it into the box. So I'll go and fill all those out. I won't waste your time as I do that. Okay, so I've filled out all these boxes. Now you don't have to fill out all these boxes. And you'll see here, I've got one left blank. That's absolutely fine. And each keyword, each individual word, you just separate by a space. And I've not put these words in any particular order. You just need to, to put them in the boxes. There is a limit to how many um, words or letters you can put in each box. So then we come on to choose categories. Now, again, I've done a video on choosing categories, which you can click on above, or you can just go to the categories list and click out some applicable categories. Now you can pick two categories. So for this, I'm just going to look through, now let's have a look, maybe gardening, because it's a plant theme or flower theme. And I'm just going to put house plants and indoors. Now, theoretically, this isn't a book on house plants and indoors, but it may be, uh, you know, attractive to people that are searching in that category. You can place your book in whatever category you do like. Now, just for the, the, the sake of quickness, I'll just tick one of these other, other categories. So let's put in ornamental plants and save. Now you can find categories for journals and notebooks. A lot of people will put them under things like self-help, journaling. So adult content, no. And then we just save and continue, go to the next page. So then we come to the next page. Now with KDP, you get a free ISBN number. So there's no need to go and register with a third party or go and buy an ISBN number. KDP will provide one for you for free. So you just click on the yellow button and the next button. Okay, now you can leave the publication date blank and then you come to print options. Now, the most common option here is a black and white interior with white paper. If you did want to produce one in cream paper, then you would leave it at this. If you did have any color components to the interior, you may have done a kid's activity book or something with color in, then you would choose this option, color interior with white paper. So I'll click on this, the black and white interior with white paper. Now the trim size is the actual size of the book. This is six by nine inch journal. If you want a different size, just click there and you can choose any number of these different sizes or you can put in a custom size if you want to create something different. The most um, common other size is 8.5 by 11 inches and also 7.44 by 9.69 and that's called composition book size. So we'll leave it on six by nine inches and then we come to the bleed settings, which is a thing that tends to confuse a lot of people. Now, if well, basically, if the design of your interior goes right to the edges of the pages, then you would click bleed. If it doesn't go right to the edges and it comes within the, the margins that Amazon sets you, then you would click no bleed. Now, in this interior, it's a lined interior and the lines go from one edge of the page to the other. So for this, we would click bleed. And then we come to the, the cover finish of the book. I used to do a lot of mine in glossy. Then I did some in matte and ordered those to see what they were like. And I really liked that sort of the texture and the, the feel of the matte cover. It just had a bit of, I don't know, felt a little bit more luxurious. So I often do mine now in matte, but you can choose either. And then we come to the manuscript, which is the interior. So you, you will have created your interior and either saved it to your computer as a PDF file or downloaded it to your computer as a PDF file if you produce the interior on something like a Tangent Templates or Canva, which I show in the video. So we just click on Upload Paperback Manuscript and it'll take us 
to our, our search and then you just find where your PDF file for the interior is. Now mine's in the downloads folder and I've called it notebook interior, surprisingly enough. And also I often put a little code on my um, interior files. And for this, I put 6.9.120, which tells me it's a six by nine inch interior and it has 120 pages. So I'll just double click on that and it takes a, just a, a short moment to upload. And then we come to the book cover. Now you've got two options here. One, you could create your own book cover on KDP and a lot of people do that. However, I've never found them particularly inspiring and I prefer to create my own. So if you do that, you then click on the second option, which is upload a cover you have already designed. And then we click on upload cover file. You can leave this button blank. And that's an important thing. It says check this box if the cover you're uploading includes a barcode. So some people will have their own barcode that they want to put on a book, in which case you would check that box. But for most people, you just leave that blank and KDP will put their own uh, barcode on, on it for you, um, which is for Amazon. So most of the time, leave that blank and then just click on upload your cover file. And again, find where your, your PDF file is. And this will be uh, the PDF file for the book cover that you've produced again or downloaded, depending where you've made it. So just double click on that. Okay, then once that's done, this button here will turn yellow and that's the launch previewer like so so we click on that and now this can take anywhere from I don't know 20 30 seconds up to i mean i've had them go on for what seemed like ages minutes 20 minutes or so and what this will do it will just prepare the, the book for you in, in, in proof almost that you can then look through and make sure that there's no issues with KDP and that it looks okay. Now if there are basic issues with it then when the launch preview appears it will tell you on the left hand side in the box whether there, there are any issues. So I won't bore you waiting for this I'll come back once the launch preview has opened. And this is what launch previewer looks like. And in the left hand margin, it will tell you if there's any issues with basic things like bleed settings, uh, whether the margins are correct, the image quality is correct, whether the fonts are correct, whether writing, uh, the writing particularly on the cover is within the margins. Particularly if we look here on the cover, you know, if that notebook that's written down the spine, if that overlaps that red line, then, it will tell you in the in the left hand margin and this is a time that you can just have a glance over the cover make sure it all looks okay things are uh, centered the fonts look okay and you notice down here this is the barcode that KDP applies to your book and that will be printed on the cover when the book is printed and then we can just click along in these arrows here and we can have a glance and look at the the interior and this looks all fine. Again, if there's any issues here, you'll often see a little red warning triangle and it will often highlight if there is any issues at all. This all looks fine. I don't go through all 120 pages unless all the different pages are different. Say you produced an activity book where all the pages are different, then I would go through each page just double checking. But uh, all these pages are the same. So we'll just click on approve, which is down bottom right hand corner, the yellow button. Okay, and then we'll scroll, scroll to the bottom and click on save and continue. And then we come to the pricing page. And this is where we set the price for our notebook. Now the price that you set is entirely up to you. Now in territories, I just click all territories, which means this, your, your book, your journal, your notebook will be sold all around the world. If you want to, you can just um, sell in particular areas of your choice but I would just click all territories and then you come to the primary marketplace which I always leave as amazon.com and I put in my dollar price now most of my blank line journals I sell for $6.99 you could choose whatever price you want you know $5.99 $4.99 $8.99 whatever and it will tell you here how much it costs to print and how much royalty you'll be getting. So if we did say, you know what, let's increase that to 7.99, dollars 
you'll see it will recalculate and say that your royalty for each book sale is two dollars fifty okay so i'll change that back to six then i always click on expanded distribution you get lesser royalties for this and it's things like books that are sold in physical stores you know because these books have an isbn number so anyone can order them go into a physical bookstore order your book and you get a lesser royalty but you have chances of making those extra few sales so it's uh, for me it's a no-brainer and yes every month i make uh, sales on the expanded distribution network then click on the downward arrow button and this will show you the other marketplaces where your book will be listed and the price of your book in those particular marketplaces now if you want to change the price in those different marketplaces you can do so you may look at amazon.co.uk and go do you know what? i want to make it more of a say five dollars forty uh, five pounds forty nine the royalty figure will obviously um, be reflected in the change of price that you assign to it and so if you're happy with all that it's then just scroll to the bottom and click on the publish your paperback book and that's it a pop-up will appear just saying that your book will now be published like so and it will go for a review okay now I think what would happen here is it will go for a review in front of a, a an actual person particularly if there are any issues that may be flagged by the system that just needs double checking and that that may be things like um, you know if there may be any copyright issues or if there is a borderline issue with the a cover or any um, you know things like bleed settings etc but most of the time you'll you'll just wait now for it to appear to appear on Amazon and it says here if it passes review it can take up to 72 hours to be available to per for purchase on Amazon now I've had books where it's only taken 12 hours that's the shortest it's taken for me and I've had books that have taken seven days I know recently um, it has been longer towards a five to seven day mark and I think that's just because of the increase in numbers of people that are publishing notebooks and journals and low content books onto Amazon but there's nothing you can do about it you just got to wait and you'll receive an email um, when your book is actually on Amazon and then it's a case of congratulations you're now a publisher or a published author and you've got your your book up on on Amazon and then it's just um, waiting to see if you make any sales um, and my suggestion is if you want to get in the, to this as a business as a publisher start working on those next journals those next ideas uh, keyword research brainstorming ideas and start producing more books don't be spammy just start producing more books so that's it for now I hope that video was useful if you do have any questions and I'm sure there are some then let me know in the comments below I'll always try my best to answer them and if you did like the video give it a thumbs up remember to hit the subscribe button and also smash the notification bell to receive notifications and until next time goodbye